Hey, hey, Wizards, guess what? It is Kieran Ashhammer, and we are here back again for another episode of the Dual School Fire and Storm walkthrough. And right now, guys, we are on our way. Oh, yeah. Because we are on our way to, um, what are we on our way to? Oh, yeah, we got to go talk to the talking statue heads again. Because... Uh, we gotta, we gotta get to the pyramid of the, the Mother Moon Pyramid, I forget. Anyways, we have to get there. We don't know if, um, if the sacrifice by the king got rid of, um, the Shadow Queen, but we gotta assume that it hasn't. So we have to get there, and to be able to get into that pyramid, since we're not royalty, we gotta get cleansed, and the head of the Hungry Knight's gonna help us out. The peculiar creature returns. Why do you pester me, warm blood? You wish to pass to the House of Flowers? No. Keep your secret phrase to yourself. I will not help you. Why not? Because my teeth ache. Or rather, my mouth aches because those blasted splinter wings stole my jade teeth. You should find out if he really knows the secret phrase. Or if he is just bluffing. You see, he really just wants you to find his lost teeth. After that, if you don't know the phrase, he won't help you. You keep out of this. You got your horns back already. So, warm blood. Will you get my jade teeth back from the splinter wings? Good. When you return, I'll see if you know the secret phrase. Ah, uh, okay. Well, 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 well. So, hey, you know what? At least it's not a Tijuana spirit or a, um, or a, or one of the shadow things. Yeah. Anyways, so it's so good to be back with you guys for yet another, another episode. Um, so we're going to continue on. We've got to, we've, we've got to make sure the shadow queen's been stopped. We don't know if, um, the king's sacrifice was enough to stop her or not. Tell you what, things have consequences here in the arc too. Big consequences. So, let's see if we can get these teeth from the Splinter Wings and get this show on the road. They walk slow, don't they? Okay. Let's do some easy, fun stuff. Now, by the way, guys, I just want to say big thanks. Thank you so much for hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button, supporting the channel and the series. I do appreciate that. It's a small YouTube channel, and by you showing that, it really helps the growth. It really helps encourage me to continue to make the videos and try to get better at it so that they're fun and viewable so that you guys enjoy them. And um, that little bit of encouragement that you do when you hit those is awesome. Also, comments. Guys, if you leave me a comment, I respond to each and every one of those. And those are three things that don't cost you anything. Might take a moment of clicking a button or typing something out, but they mean quite a bit to me and really actually helps us out quite a bit with the big old YouTube algorithm that we have to deal with from time to time as a, as a content creator. So thanks again for taking a moment out of your time to do that. Watch the video, hit the like button, or even leave me a comment. I assume so much appreciate it. Hey, and don't worry. If you haven't done it yet, you can still do it, guys. Plenty of time left. You know? Perfect time to seize the day, right? Yeah, seize your day. Wow, these guys are coming out quite aggressive, aren't they? Oh, that's okay. Very nice. Let's fire dragon these guys out. Well. Bam, bidi, bam, bam, bam. Whew. Well, they're ice guys, so it should go pretty well. Downside, though, is um, we're not done. We just gotta get one more J tooth. Tooth. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna get into that rant. I've like hit it too many times in the last several videos. So let's just go ahead and hammer these guys out and finish them off yet again. Okay. So the storyline so far. So we are here in Azteca. They're having major issues. 
Um, I believe we are past the halfway point finally. Yeah, there are a ton of quests here in Aztec. We're talking over, we're right at 200 mainline quests. And um, believe it or not, if we were in any other, or if we were in any first arc world, third arc world, or fourth arc world, um, we would actually be done with the world by now. Believe it or not, yes we would. We would be done with the world by now. But this is the longest single world in King's Isle and in in well should we say in the spiral as far as for main quest line so there so the stakes are high and we still got quite a ways to go because there's still a whole big old section of the world we haven't even gone to yeah we have not made it to the floating the floating lands yet yeah so we're still here in cloudburst forest the good news is is we're coming up to the uh, to the ultimate fight to try to stop the shadow queen in here unfortunately if it's a fight i think it is it's going to be a tough one so um yeah you know We'll, we'll have to see how that goes. Okay, let's knock these two guys out. Grab those teeth. We've got some clean. We got a cleansing ceremony to um, figure out there in the um, flower hut. Yeah. Okay, let's go talk to that head. Very, very, very nice. Very, very good. Now, guys, I have some exciting news about my Monday night streams. So, if you are not aware of it, I stream some some Wizard 101 every Monday night. And right now, what I've been doing is I've been working with my balance wizard, and we have been working to finish off Wallaroo and get him max level, and which has been exciting stuff, and I've been having a really, really great time doing that. But I'm about to change up the format of my streams. I'm hoping um, you guys might like it. Let's talk to this guy first, though. So. <laughs> My teeth, those feel great. Put your hand in and see if they feel secure. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Okay, tell me the secret phrase. You don't remember it, do you? Am I going to have to roll over there and eat you up? As soon as he lets you get a word in edgewise, you firmly recite the phrase Zen Zen taught you. Yan Kashtik Tumben Chilnuha. And let's not point out that Zen Zen is standing right behind him as well at this point. Okay, let's go. You hope that was right. <laughs> well done, youngling. <sighs> you may cross the blooming bridge to the House of Flowers. It is a sacred place that embodies the land. But I warn you, you won't like what you find. One thing about Azteca, they love their bridges. Snake bridges, flower bridges. Talk to Lady Zen Zen before you go inside. Okay, Zen Zen, talk to me, girl. I can't walk across the blooming bridge for you. Do you sense it? Something is wrong here. The living spirit who dwells in the house of flowers is called Yashche. You need a blessing from Yashche to purify you. And you'll need his permission to take a Starfall Lily. Whatever corruption lies within, you'll simply have to deal with it. Oh boy. Well, of course, nothing simple. So let's head on in. Although the exterior is resplendent in color and form, there's something off about the place. Oh yeah, this is worth getting a picture of. Look at that flower. Flower temple, or whatever it is. House of Flowers is what they call it. Let's there go. There it is again. A whiff of corruption and blight underneath the perfume. Something rotten. I love the depth of the world and, and the art style. It's just so great. It's such a wonderful world. Okay, let's go in. Alrighty, guys. So... What are our goals today? Well, we're going to see how far we can get. I'm not sure if we're going to get all the way to the temple, because this fight, as I remember, is a challenging fight. We're going to see if we can't knock it out the first time around, though. Okay, so we are talking about a myth boss. Yeah, have you ever noticed that usually in different parts of the worlds, in most of the worlds, the way they design is usually you'll run through a certain school of bosses for a period of time before you get to the next set? Okay, so let's go ahead and check our deck. So we've got both storm, we got both fire. That works out well. Um, we've got plenty of storm in here. I've got feints, I've got storm blades. Just to make this a little bit easier, we're going to go ahead and pull out the extra blades there. Um, we'll leave storm lord in there. I think that'll work just fine. But let's go ahead and stack up some shields, right? Because we've found those to be very, very useful. Okay, Blighted Yakshi. Nana Bleeder, why do you intrude on this sacred place? 
Storm Ricker, Fire Quencher, Ice Breaker. Interesting. Whatever you wish from here, it is too late. The shadow has passed through here and left her mark. Welcome to the Blight. Prepare for a long, long stay. He seems fairly unhappy to me. Okay. Well, I guess that is the Blight that we're talking about. What a wonderful little world. Okay, let's take him down. Now, I, I, I remember it being a tougher fight, but I don't know. We'll find out, guys. Okay, so how about... Yeah, we, we're, we're going to go Storm here primarily, but we'll have the AoE ready to go. Let's draw some, some blades up, and let's see if we... Yeah, we need, to, we need to get rid of that Shadow Weaver ASAP. Okay, we don't have the initiative here. That means they're going to be hitting us first off, so we've got to make sure that we're thinking ahead. Um, gosh, I should put a shield up, but I didn't have a shield draw anyway, so that worked out okay. Oh, righty, oh, righty, 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 righty. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, let's see what the best option is. Honestly, the best option would probably be able to knock a shadow wing out, but in the meantime, let's just go ahead and see if we can get that guy out of the way. Let's prep up for a big hit against the boss. Nice. Ooh. Well, when they do hit me, it's not going to feel good. So we're right now we're looking at the problem of having too many cards in your side deck. So at this point, because we have so many cards in our side deck, um, <laughs> we're not getting any shields out. We are getting blades and feints, which are good. Ooh. See, yeah. So um, this is going to hurt. Yeah. This could be a very unpleasant moment. Ooh, that was that was significantly un Well, okay. If you saw the last episode, you know why this is going to be an extremely unpleasant moment. Or the last two episodes. Okay. I do not like getting hit by this when it crits. Oh, yeah. That is not good. Wow. Wow, wow. And plus we got stunned too. What's going to be the better choice? Let's go there. I just I need to take uh, take out the minion. I mean, we probably would have gotten a bigger hit on the storm with the storm lord. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't a good choice. We got to heal. We got to get some shields up. Okay. Well, that's good. So we'll get a big hit. And with any luck, yes, we got rid of the minion. That's important. Okay, so it's all about storm action now. So let's go ahead and start prepping that, but uh, that's good too, but uh, that's good too, but I need a shield or a heal. Okay, now let's just start blading up. Because we got we got to um we gotta heal. Hopefully he doesn't kill us. That's the downside. If you see all those pips, oh, He can hit us this next round. I feel like I've been here before. Let's see how much of a critical that's going to do. Well, that went better than it did last time. I'll have to say that. Okay, we are not out of the woods yet like we were two fights ago, two bosses ago. We, we, um, well, we were, we were just totally blown out of the water two boss fights ago. But let's go ahead. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's throw this up. Let's get rid of Stormlord because what we need 
right now is we need the perfect set of cards to pop up. We gotta get ourselves healed up. We might have to do a reshuffle to get some more heals in. Gosh, look at that. That did not, yeah, well, yeah. This is why we're gonna slam him with a good big storm hit here in a minute, okay? We're going to knock Stormwing out, and we're going to make a call on that. Ugh. Okay. We need to get another heal in. Actually, I probably should just load up another, um, another shield. Okay, this is going to take some careful balancing for us to survive this, guys. Perfect. Okay. Um, that's, this is what I mean by balancing. We gotta get our health high enough so we can take a hit. Perfect, perfect. And then if we can balance that out with enough shields... Our prospects have just improved. Okay? Our prospects have just improved. Okay, so... We're not gonna need that. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get a... Well, faint's a good thing to have. That's going to be pretty important for us to finish this guy off. So let's throw the feints up there. Okay, saw this coming. Knew this was coming our way. Whew. There we go. Uh, still more of a hit than I would have wanted to take, but... I'm not sure what he still has in his stuff. Okay, so here's some good news. Um, we really need a shield. Okay, so... Eesh. We're going to do this because I want to get... See if, uh, okay, well... I wanted to get a shield up before he could strike again, but I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. So, not good. And... We're not going to need that. That's, that's what we need. Yeah. Okay, here's the good news. We've got a feint. We've got three blades. We're going to throw at least one more blade up, and then we're going to strike. You know, yeah. Well, can I throw one more blade up? No, actually, I've already got all the blades up. Okay, guys. We're in it now. Let's see if we can make this happen. Four blades and a feint. Should finish them off. Oh, I love it. I love it. Did the job, and that is exactly what we needed. You have broken the shadow and cured my sickness and blight. Thank you, magician. I owe you much. Very good. That's awesome, guys. Fantastic. You need to purify yourself to find the Pyramid of Mother Moon? Ah, uh, of course. There you are. You can safely enter the pyramid without disturbing the spirits resting inside. I love it when they do a um, atmosphere. Like, look at it. Now we got rid of all the blight. It looks pretty. It's colorful. It's green. It looks like a fantastic flower sanctuary. Finding the pyramid will be a harder task. You need a starfall lily to open the way. Take one. I will wait outside the house of flowers. Fantastic. Let's grab that starfall lily. There we go, guys. Love the storyline. Now let's head out. Okay, yeah, I believe this next temple is the tough is the is probably the, one of the toughest boss pairings you get, especially if you're a storm or myth. <laughs> 
I'm pretty sure that's where we're going, but we'll see what happens. Oh, let's talk to Yaxche. Yaxche? Whatever. The Shadow Queen twisted me at the root. I will always remember your efforts, and when I am gone, my seedlings will know your name. To reach Mother Moon, you must go down, 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 and then down again. The Starfall Lily will open the way. Place the Starfall Lily in the alcove at the Eternal Falls. Follow the path to Tierra de Brea. Lady Zenzen will meet you. Okay, I totally forgot about this next area. Yeah, so we still got a ways to go, guys. So, see, the way this works is we're going to come up here. We're going to use a Starfall Lily here, right? You place the Starfall Lily in the small alcove. There is a soft growl, like a snoring as Tekasar. And now, I've totally forgot this area. I forgot that, you know, the floating islands is the next thing, but now I totally forgot about Tierra de Brea. Here we are, guys. Yet another wonderful section of Azteca. But unfortunately, guys, that's all the time we have today. So next episode, we'll start off with talking to Lady Zen Zen and getting the lay of the land so we can figure out how to get to the Temple of Mother Moon. This is Kieran Ashhammer. Have a great day.